Friday, June 29th, uh, 2012, and we're coming up on the last days of June. As we're coming up on the last days of June, I just got to thinking that uh, this is going to be, as of July 1st, we start uh, Season 2, and this will be six It will be six months for us on uh, YouTube. Uh, yeah, me being us, being Cyborg Alpha. Me and the robotic side. <laughs> yeah, that's the up. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been a great ride. Um, ups and downs. I've made some really cool friends on uh, YouTube here. Uh, the bizarre thing is, I actually have more friends on YouTube that I see on a regular basis than I do outside, so that's a cool thing. Uh, so I've finally got human contact. <laughs> I, I'm, such a, I'm such a lab rat that. Uh, 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 human contact is rare for me, for people who, uh, you know, when I come out, they go, oh, Daniel, there you are! <laughs> and, it's, you know, you come out, you look around, the sun blinds you, because you've been in the lab for too long. Yeah, <laughs> that's me. Um, yeah, I've enjoyed my six months. Uh, uh, the, I realized that uh, the playlists have a limit to how much you can actually put in them. So uh, the way I decided to do it is, I remember I was before, earlier on, a little bit of a, bit of, of a, a backstory. Uh, earlier on, I was wondering about uh, how I should set up the seasons, and I really couldn't figure it out whether you know how I should do this and that, and you know, and it kind of popped up that uh, YouTube does the playlist does not have enough. Uh, uh, space, not allowed enough videos to put in a whole year, so the way I decided to do it is uh, every six months uh, uh, we're going to add in a new playlist, so, uh, but rather than just adding in a new playlist, what I decided to do is uh, that's how I'm going to do the season, so we're, we're just wrapping up uh, season one now, uh, we're going into season two, video editing is part of my daily life now, and this is something that, to be said, Everything that's done here is done on open source. Open source, open hardware. Now I'm working on open internet. Uh, and I'm work, you know, working full steam ahead on this. Uh, six months ago, this was considered to be an impossibility. I looked around site after site, review after review, said that you cannot produce videos on a regular basis uh, on, for YouTube or anywhere uh, using Linux. Well. Six months later, here we are on Linux, open source, open hardware, and we've got a full production environment going on here. Yeah, we've got our technical glitches, but so does everybody else. So, uh, <laughs> not a bad thing. Not a bad thing uh, for open source. Not a bad thing for open hardware. Not a bad thing for open internet. We've got six months uh, worth of work done. Uh, in video production, and now we're looking forward to another six months. Yet, yeah. and if you know, if you look on the main feature page, you'll see that both the uh, DECB Economic TV is back, and so is uh, INN, the Internet ne Network News. Uh, we're all, we're back in business, and we're uh, we've moved everything up to 720p. Uh, we're going to fix up a lot of our uh, technical issues in, ter in terms of putting in graphics so that we can see some of the things I'm talking about rather than having to hold up a camera. And it was kind of cumbersome before we had to do different things. Uh, and we fixed up so that uh, it's not going to be the webcam performance. It's going to be uh, uh, the 720p camera. Uh, well, it's, it's not a 720p camera. It's, it's 
seven, it's, a, it's a regular SD camera uh, that uses Linux to bump it up to 720p HD. So that's the way we're doing it. It works fine. Uh, now I've, lear I've learned how to put in the proper graphics. Now I have to uh, learn how on a regular basis to uh, sort of not script out what I'm going to say, but meter in such a way that I can actually put in the graphics. So this is going to be a lot more like uh, uh, paper and essay writing than it was before. So there's going to be a first draft which is going to be the primary in the, the, the input and then um, going, as I go along start putting in the graphics. And the thing is that what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, what you'll see on the news, what you'll see here is uh, the raw attempt. The, uh, you'll see the mistakes. I'm not going to edit them out. And uh, so that you'll see that you'll see the progress as we're going on. And that way, you can see what's going on in open source, what's, what's going on in open hardware, what's going on in open internet. You can see that we're actually working in a Linux production environment. So uh, I hope this helps. Uh, you know, uh, anyone who's interested in going into the Linux production environment, yeah, it, it can be done. You do have to sit down. There's there is there is a fairly technical side to this. But uh, I don't find the technical side any more cumbersome than I did with Windows. So I, I came from a Windows environment, I moved on, I uh, migrated on to a Linux environment. Not a bad, as people say, oh, Linux is so hard, it's a rough. It really wasn't that bad. It was bad in the beginning from the perspective that I really didn't, it was a totally different environment. Linux is completely different from Windows in terms of how things operate. But once I got comfortable with move, sort of moving around with Linux, then I was able to start pushing it and doing significantly more than I ever did on Windows. And in terms of the, the technical aspect of the, sort of the dealing with the bugs and stuff like that, when the, the standard thing on, on Windows, when you had a bug in there, there was really no way to work around a bug. You had to have a race the entire hard drive and reinstall everything. That was your primary. That was your primary thing, or you just didn't do it anymore. You already bought a new piece of software. In Linux, you really can work and fix out a bug. You can trace down problems and repair them. You can't do that on Windows. So as I said, in a, in a Linux environment, we're looking at bug to bug, uh, experience to experience. The Linux environment works. It works in a production environment, and in terms of the technical. Uh, Load that it puts on you, it's uh, not any. It's not any different than what you would expect in terms of a technical load on, on Windows. So, uh, with all the pluses and minus, Linux is the better environment for me. And now the next step, if those are interested in cyborg and cyber, uh, 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 and cy uh, cybernetics, uh, the next step is uh, having cyborg alpha crawl out onto the internet and build a virtual presence. So this is part of why it's Cyborg Alpha. I am building that presence. I am crawling out onto the internet now. And this is sort of going to be the next step. Uh, hopefully within a year to two years, uh, I should be starting to put in some of the AI that I've been working on in the back room here. Uh, some of that AI, and that stands for artificial intelligence, should be coming into play in about a year to two years from now uh, on the internet. Uh, so again, the internet is going to be the environment. This is where uh, the Cyborg Alpha is now crawling out onto, uh, and that's where. You, and I think it's not going to be a report. You're going to be able to see Cyborg Alpha in real terms. You'll be able to see the development. You'll be able to see all these things that are going on. So uh, that's why Cyborg Alpha is the way it is, uh, and that's why you're not going to standard be seeing standard reports about this and that or or. or because you can see the development for yourself. Anyway, uh, I want to thank everyone who's subscribed so far. I'm up to, up to 48 subscribers. I know it's not that much because I love people have thousands. But, you know, that's pretty cool for me anyway. So, I want to thank anyone, everyone who's subscribed. Uh, it's been six months. Thumbs up. And uh, hope to see you for the next six months. Stay tuned for season two. Coming up July 1st. Yeah, it's uh, 6.30 in the morning. Or was it now? Um, Saturday, June 30th.
I can't remember when the last uh, talk to you guys. I, I, I don't know whether I came back around 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. I can't remember what, what, what happened. I don't think I did. Uh, <laughs> I was in the middle of... I'm redesigning my uh, uh, editing studios. So I have more room to do more things now because I've reached the, reached the milestone where I'm able to do overlays. I'm able to put graphics in there now. So now I want to spread out and do more work. And that means the reorganization of the uh, the video editing suites, and that's why I've sort of been working on all day today. It's been working on the redevelopment of that um, because we're continuing to, to basically to uh, do video development in in um, in Linux. So yeah, yeah, we're in Linux, so uh, we have a full production studio on Linux here. It, uh, it's edited, uh, shot, everything's in on Linux, and. The cool thing is, is that uh, I didn't, um, I didn't uh, expect this, but now I'm at my 50th sub. I've reached 50 already, so not a bad thing. So, anyways, uh, this is going to be it for today. Uh, I'm going to go to bed in a few minutes. Uh, I just got to finish up some stuff here because uh, I'll probably be getting up in about less than six hours and. Uh, doing some more work. All right, take it easy. Professor of what? Professor of physics. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.